Hello everyone and welcome to another video today with a headstone tutorial for a skulk farm. In this farm you can uh, farm skulk sensors, shriekers, skulk blocks and also the skulk van. So this farm doesn't have a storage so the way I like to do is I uh, fill my inventory with the blocks I want to farm right and then uh, I just collect those blocks, right? Which is everything except the Ender Pearls, right? That thing their main uh, draw. And you can mine just the Skulk Sensors here and Shriekers if you want, right? Or you can get the the blocks down here. And if you, what you want is only the Skulk Vents, uh, there is a cool thing you can do. You can turn off the, uh, turn on the lever here to turn off the farm. Right, as you can see, the Enderman will stop spawning. But then you can just press this uh, trapdoor. This will turn on the Enderman spawning, but not turn on uh, the generators, right? The stone generators. So when you mine these blocks, they won't regenerate. So that way you will only get uh, scope veins now, as you can see. When the Enderman die, you only get scope veins if you, that's what you are wanting to farm. So yeah, let's go for the tutorial now. So here are the materials we're gonna need to build this farm. I'm gonna leave a list in the description to be easier. Just make sure these building blocks cannot transform into scope and they're not easy to mine with a hole. And these are temporary blocks. Leaves are great because they are easy to get, easy to break, and also Enderman don't spawn them. So first we need to get the 120 blocks away uh, from the island and the lower you build the farm the faster the enderman spawn and one easy way to get all the way down is to place a lava block and uh, wait until it gets all the way down. Okay now that the lava stopped flowing uh, you can place a water uh, bucket next to it like this and it will form a bunch of uh, cobblestone blocks all the way down. And now you can remove the, the lava source. There we go, the lava uh, is over, so uh, it's safer to go down there. Uh, make sure you are wearing an elytra and have some rockets always, right? Working on the void. And now you can go down uh, the water here and place a temporary block here all the way down, right? And now you can use two stacks of leaves or any block you have to get uh, farther from the island. Okay, now that you are far enough away uh, from the island, you need to make a 23 by 23 uh, square of glass, but just the borders. Okay, here is our 23 by 23 uh, square of glass. And now, uh, using temporary blocks, go one up and two over, and start building another circle that will be uh, 17 by 17 and you will always have two blocks gap in all the sides okay as you can see we built a 17 by 17 square of glass here with two blocks gap on every side right and uh, now exactly on the center of the square uh, you go seven temporary blocks over and place uh, a glass here on the exact center of the square and this is where your scope catalyst will go uh, place a torch here temporarily uh, just so nothing spawns and now this part is easier if you uh, use temporary blocks so place 15 temporary blocks in uh, the, the lower uh, layer of glass right so it's like a, just leave one here off right on all the sides. Okay, now that we have these temporary blocks on every side, place uh, observers facing uh, these uh, leafy blocks that you place here on every side again. It's gonna be 15 uh, observers each side. Okay, I placed all the observers as you can see, and now we need to place pistons facing up behind these observers. Again, on all four sides, 15 pistons each side. 
there you go i placed all the uh, pistons and as you can see an enderman already spawned so go ahead and place the torches on these corners here temporarily just to stop enderman from spawning there you go and if you, you did got an enderman like me you can just push them off the platform here and now uh, in every single leaf block here and now uh, we're gonna place repeaters in four ticks like this uh, after and before ever leaf block here there you go and in one of the sides you place a block in front of the repeater with a headstone torch and then uh, three headstone dust like this and in all other corners you just place uh, five headstone dust like this there we go and now you can remove all the leaf blocks and replace them with headstone dust okay so now that we replace all uh, leaf blocks with headstone dust you notice that we start a loop right this will be our clock for uh, the stone generator but just to stop this annoying noise while we are building place a block here next to where you will place the torch there right and another block on top and then you can place dust on top of these three blocks and then another block on top of this dust and then you can place a lever here and power this up this will turn off the torch and stop the clock now we can work in peace okay so now we can remove these temporary blocks and also these ones but before uh, we remove them we're gonna build a block platform in here right so you can remove this now and you can build this uh, platform all the way around the, uh, this square the inside part of the square you have here there we go now we have this uh, 15 by 15 block square with our catalyst in the middle and now we can move these torches up here temporarily just so we don't get any uh, mobs spawning here okay so now on these uh, corners here that you just removed the torch you can make this v shape here uh, with the glass right so it's uh, five glass like this in all the corners there you go we finish placing the glass in all the corners and now on top of all these observers you place another observer facing up like this there you go i finished placing all the observers and now you need to place it is labs everywhere here on uh, this glass here on all the far sides there you go and this is labs is uh, where our water will be for the uh, stone generator so you can just use two buckets and complete all this with water again obviously on all four sides and it's very important that you use the water log the slabs or stairs here uh, to make sure the lava won't turn the water source into stone and also to make sure no skulk will spread here right those skulk veins now on these corners where we have this v-shaped glass place another layer of this there we go and now place pistons facing this way on top of those observers on all four sides now in front of these pistons place two two stone and yeah this needs to be stone uh, this is where the stone generator will be and this one we need to place manually to hold the lava okay now we need to place uh, glass all the way around this on top of this first uh, row of stone here and on top of the pistons here okay so now that you finish placing this glass uh, go on the center here and place the buttons on top of this glass this is uh, to stop skulk from spreading there we go i placed the buttons everywhere here so the skulk won't spread up here and now it's time to place the lava so you can place one lava in each corner here in one in the center and this should spread all over uh, the stone here okay now that you finished uh, placing the lava we're gonna place glass on top of all the lava 
but there is a slight mistake I made here. Uh, this lever is not on top of the block. It is on this side here, and you can press it all. And uh, also, you can place two buttons here and a uh, trapdoor here. These buttons is just to stop a fire from spreading uh, because of the trapdoor here. And also, you can place a scaffolding here and another one here and obvious cover all the lava here with glass. There we go, I finished placing the glass on top of lava and as you can see my torch is already broken because when I changed the lever it activated the stone generators but yeah, you can remove the temporary torches now including the one on top of the catalyst here uh, because the lava source will uh, stop Enderman from spawning down here and uh, on top of the catalyst place an obsidian block this is because when you are farming with a hole here uh, to make sure you don't accidentally break it the catalyst and I'll get exactly 43 uh, scaffolding in place on top of this one here that's on top of the trap door okay there we go now uh, go up this scaffolding and now towards the farm there place a, a few temporary blocks here and you're gonna need to remove that place an observer uh, facing here the scaffolding a stick piston here, uh, jump a block, and place a headstone block here, and then you can remove this temporary block. Now you can aim on the block below the observer there, just because you're gonna need to place some slabs here, and it needs to be on the top part because we're gonna need to place a, a headstone dust on top of these slabs. So you can place five here and then eight more and on this eight one you place a block and on all the other slabs you can place headstone dust okay don't forget to remove these temporary blocks here and on top of this uh, block on the end of the headstone line place a lamp this is what will stop the enderman from spawning here and you can place two trap doors like this open them and then start building uh, your platform okay now as you can see i start building the platform you can go 13 blocks uh, in this way it's going to be a diamond shape platform just make sure here where you have the trap doors you uh, make a, a true block gap like this in place another trap door. this is where the enderman will fall and then you can also go 13 blocks but count the trap doors. so one two three ten more blocks okay so i went 13 blocks in every direction uh, counting start counting here right one two three 13 blocks in every direction and now uh, you can complete this platform in a diamond shape because this, this is the shape that uh, that uh, headstone lamp can lit up and stop Enderman from spawning. There we go, I finished the, uh, building the platform here. And I have this mod that shows light level, just so you guys can see that everything is above zero, so Enderman won't spawn here when the light is on. And now on top of the light here, you can build up three blocks and place a slab on top. And on the second block here, you can make this uh, five long uh, block here, just to make sure uh, the Enderman will have find to here and fall down. Okay, so now it's time to spawn the Endermite. Go up here. Just make sure you don't leave any staircase that the Enderman can go up here, even while you are just uh, spawning the Endermite here and place two blocks like this right one on top of the center and one to the side any of the sides and then uh, build a true high wall around these two blocks place two rails like this and make sure you have a good source of food like a golden carrots here and now you need to start spamming ender pearls here until the ender might spawns also a good idea to have some good armor while doing this because the enderpearls 
and then there might hurt a little bit oh there we go finally then there might spawn give it a name tag to then there might mine card push the mine card there we go it only took me 56 in their pearls that's fine now you can remove these uh, blocks right make sure the ender mites on top of the center there break this block there we go and now you can remove all these uh, temporary blocks here there we go now your farm is ready to use make sure of course you have a silk touch hole right and uh, you can go down the scaffolding here or just fly down if you have an elytra and you can just uh, press the lever here it will update there and start the farm there we go and now you can farm all the scope you want thank you for watching the video and i hope you enjoyed this farm and see you guys in the next video bye